morning to the team from Poland and good afternoon to the uh, students and the schools and all part participants from India. Welcoming all of you to the, uh, the webinar of University of Lodz, which is organized by NAVA and the team from University of Lodz. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. I am Sujin C. Charyan. Um, I'm happily introducing this University of Lodz. I'm in connection with this university for the past seven to eight years. Very happy relationship with the university. And I have, I've had the opportunity to visit the, the fabulous campus of this university uh, many times. Um, first of all, I would like to welcome uh, Justina, who is the admission officer of the university, and Mr. Pakos, the admission officer of the university. Good Welcoming good both good. of you. Welcoming both, both of you to the webinar. Hello and thank you. Thank you for your invitation. Yeah. Secondly, uh, I'm I'm glad that a lot of lot of schools from the Central Kerala, namely the districts, the regions named Kotem, Ernakulam, Alapura, and Idiki, the schools are here to listen to the University of Lodz. I'm welcoming the principal, the teachers, and all of the students of the schools to the webinar. There are a lot of participants who came to know about this webinar through the social media um, activities and our other offline activities. So welcoming all of the students and participants once again to this webinar. The next, we have a message from the vice rector of the university. My name is Robert Zakrzewski and I am a professor of chemistry and a vice rector for students at the University of Łódź in Poland. I warmly welcome you on today's presentation about our university. I'm very glad that you decided to spend your time on today's webinar to learn about our university. Enjoy the meeting. I hope to see you at the university in Łódź in person one day. Hope that all of you were capable of listening the message from the vice director of the university. Now we have the admission officer, uh, Justina. She's going to present what is Central Europe and what is Poland and what is University of Łódź. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm trying to open my presentation, which is not so easy for me because I'm not <laughs> technically uh, good in operating like computer stuff and so on. Czekaj mnie tak chodź, no. But I can change slides. Okay, we will try to figure out something. Um, uh, thank you for uh, joining us on today's presentation about the University of Lodz, uh, uh, according to what our rector said uh, during his welcoming. And thank you, Sujin, uh, very much for your introduction. Okay, the first slide. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, yes, of course. Thank you, Sujin, for your introduction. And we are very pleased that we can have this presentation uh, today and present our university to colleges in uh, Kerala. Uh, my name is Justina, and I'm here with my colleague Mieczysław uh, to present the University of Lodz. I have been working in this at this university uh, for more than 13 years. Uh, so as you can imagine, I'm quite experienced in terms of students' admission. It is also worth to mention that we can have this uh, presentation because we won a project and we received a grant from the Polish ministry. To be precise, uh, Polish National Agency for Academic Exchange uh, to promote University of Lodz 
in different countries like India, Zimbabwe, Bangladesh, Uzbekistan, and Azerbaijan. And if you are here today with us, it means that you are considering studying abroad. Uh, our aim is to give you a brief information how to prepare yourself uh, for going to a different country and choosing the right university. Okay. Okay, uh, second slide. Uh, this slide is also a proof and that we know Mr. Sujin Cheryan uh, personally, because we met with him several times. He visited our office and once even uh, Mrs. Liliana Lato, the head of our office, visited India and had some presentations in Kerala. So uh, what you uh, what you can see on the on the photo, like starting from the left, this is uh, Mieczysław, he's an admission officer. Uh, yeah, then uh, is uh, Mrs. Liliana Lato, who is the head of International Relations Office. Uh, she is sometimes called by students Madame Boss. And there is me, Justina, and Mr. Uh, Mr. Cheryan Sujin. And as you can see, like in the background, there are some students. Because this photo has been taken on our official welcome meeting that we organize every year for international students, who are starting their education at the University of Lodz. Uh, so if you if you come next year to start uh, studying at the University of Lodz, you will have a chance to participate in this meeting and you will have to participate in this meeting because it's obligatory. And here comes uh, the map of Poland and Europe. Uh, so Poland is located in the eastern part of European Union, uh, but the city of Lodz is uh, in the center of Poland. Uh, so as you can see, Poland faces like the Baltic Sea in the north. So we also have access, access to the sea in Poland and Carpathian Mountains in the south. And Polish capital city is, uh, Poland's capital city is Warsaw. Uh, as you can see, like Poland has a favorable geographical location that has an excellent, you know, transport connection to the whole European Union countries. And, uh, you know, your student visa will allow you to study and to travel all around European Union countries. Because if you get like a multiple entrances, it means that you can travel around European Union with no problem. Okay, here is our chart about Poland and some facts about our country. So Poland is a country with a population of 38 million people. As I mentioned before, we are a member of European Union and NATO. Uh, of course, on the next slides, we will uh, tell you what are the possibilities to study in another Euro European countries because we have such at our university. It is also worth to mention that Polish currency is a Polish zloty. Despite the fact that we are a member of European Union, uh, we have our own currency. Uh, we use Euro, of course, but uh, most of the time uh, we pay uh, in Polish zloty. Uh, so official language in Poland is Polish, but no need to worry. Uh, it will be easily for you to communicate in English as well, because if you ask people uh, on the street in English, um, just may I ask a question, sir, madam, and they are very friendly and they will easily answer for your questions. And uh, Poland higher education is divided into like two steps. Bachelor's degree is usually for three years. Master's degree is uh, for two years. And uh, all the diplomas are recognized in the whole European Union countries. Uh, ac uh, according to the weather, it's completely different than in India um, because, you know, we have cold winters up to minus 20 Celsius degrees and, well, hot sunny summers. But, you know, in the summer, we have like maximum 30 uh, Celsius degrees, which is very hot for us here. 
Uh, like religion, it's worth to mention that uh, uh, Christianity and mostly Roman Catholic. Maybe you have heard uh, some Polish uh, famous citizens like Friedrich Chopin, like Lewandowski, like a football player, Marie skłodowska curie uh, she got a Nobel Prize, and like Copernicus and our Pope, very famous uh, John Paul II. Okay, now let's uh, tell you something more about the city of Lodz. So as you can see on the on the slide, it is situated only uh, 125 kilometers away from Warsaw. So uh, you can get here by train that will take you like approximately a one hour and 15 minutes. Uh, so uh, Łódź is Poland's fourth largest city with a population of almost 700,000 inhabitants. As I mentioned before, easily accessible from any part of Poland and Europe. Uh, by plane, we have an uh, airport in Łódź, train, uh, we have several uh, railway station in Łódź, or by car, according to your preferences. Uh, Lodz is proud of uh, 19th century industrial history, mainly textile, because many textile factories uh, were located in the city of Lodz. <clears throat> and uh, nowadays, our city attracts tourists with many festivals. We can say that Lodz is an academical, as uh, famous for its universities, like it's an academic city, but we also uh, mention that it's a city of many festivals. For example, like Camera Action Festival, like Design Festival, Light Move Festival, which is very popular among uh, tourists in Poland. And of course, uh, nowadays, Lodz is a city of great investments and opportunities. Many, uh, you know, many companies are starting their businesses in our city. Most of them are like business, uh, uh, business companies and IT sectors. And, you know, this summer, it's worth to say that this summer we celebrated uh, 16th 600, sorry, anniversary of our city. Like we had many festivals, music concerts in which we could participate for free. And the, during this anniversary, uh, lots became a real uh, unusual tourist activity. This uh, jubilee uh, attracted very like huge amount of tourists and the city was uh, almost fully booked. Okay, so now we will play you a video about the city of Lodz. Let's try to open it. It all started with King Yagewa. Little Wodja became a city, but centuries will pass before Wodj grows mighty. In just 60 years since its first factory, it becomes an industrial, multinational, Metropolis. And yet the winds of history have not always been kind. What was destroyed by fate has been rebuilt by its people. Our Woods, city of great opportunities. For 600 years at the heart of Poland and Europe. Okay, I hope that you had a chance to see how our city looks like and you can you had a chance to get to know a little bit of its history. Okay, so let's head back to the presentation. Mm, like the, the next topic is safety. Well, I'm sure that many of you ask yourself a question. Is Poland a safe country? <clears throat> So uh, just to let you know that we have like uh, approximately um, 2,744 uh, Indian students in Poland. This is an official number from 2022. And definitely we can say that yes, Poland is a safe country to visit. Uh, you can also check uh, like the, the, the link that we shared here 
that according to some uh, global peace index, Poland is ranked number 29 out of 163 of the safest country in the world. Uh, but um, don't get crazy about the numbers. Uh, make your own research. Definitely do not believe in, in news. Ask other students uh, whether they feel safe in Poland. Ask uh, Indian community. And definitely try, uh, trust your in, in, in intuition. And ask yourself if you really want to go. Okay? This is the, the main thing if you are considering uh, going to a different country. Okay, and here we have a very famous Indian uh, person who lives in Poland for more than 20 years. Uh, this is Mr. Amit Lat. He is a CEO of Sharda Group. And he is a businessman in Poland. And uh, it's worth to say that he was rewarded uh, in 2023, like Pravasi Bharatiya Saman, you know, the highest overseas honor uh, by the president of India. Uh, last year, he played a leading and outstanding role in the overall evacuation uh, of uh, students from Ukraine. Because of, you know, Russian invasion, many students who were studying in, in Ukraine, who were from India, they got stuck in Ukraine. And uh, because of his help, they were able to rescue uh, from Ukraine and uh, get back safely via Poland. <clears throat> okay, and here we have another famous uh, person from India. This is ambassador to the Republic of Poland, Mrs. Nagma Mohamed Malik. Her Excellency visited our university this year and she was taking part in the Asian Day celebrations at the Faculty of International and Political Studies at the University of Lodz. The ambassador delivered a lecture and then she had a meeting and lunch with the rector of the University of Lodz, um, Professor Elżbieta Rządzińska. And, you know, it was a chance to discuss a future collaboration uh, between University of Lodz and Indian Embassy. Okay, here is also an example that we are like open university, not only for, for students. We have an international school at the University of uh, Lodz. It's a private school established in uh, 2013 uh, in response to growing need for international education uh, in Łódź. And in the school, there are over 25 different nationalities. Most of, this, most of the pupils come from India because, you know, families were moving from India to Poland and this uh, school gives their parents a chance uh, to give their child a good education. So they have uh, like primary school there and secondary school. Okay, here you can see another example of an Indian student in Poland. Uh, in the middle, uh, you can see our graduate student from India. Uh, so on the photo on the from the left, there is one student from Belarus and in the middle, there is a student from India. And on the right hand side, there is a student from Nepal. So our graduate student, Justin, uh, who during his first week in Poland gave an interview to the newspaper. And, you know, he's a very open minded person. And he said that he did not have any problem with a culture shock here in Poland. As he said in the interview, everything is different than in India. So if you are planning to come, you have to be ready for such uh, difference. So no need to worry because people are helpful here. If you ask, they will answer with no problem. So uh, he graduated in 2019 and last year he married a Polish woman and they live happily and work in woods. Okay, let's head back to another photo. On this photo, you can see a railway station and uh, the biggest one in Łódź. It's, uh, we have to mention that Lodz is a city that is being uh, reconstructed all the time. 
like building and streets are renovated. And we are very happy that our city is changing, getting more beautiful. But, you know, it's making our lives sometimes difficult and frustrating because we have uh, huge traffic jams. Uh, and when we are heading back, you know, heading to our work, uh, instead of, I don't know, 15 minutes, we have to uh, drive for our one hour or even more. But all in all, uh, after the, these renovations, all the renovations makes the city more friendly and more beautiful, you know, for tourists and for us and for, for students. Okay, another photo of our beautiful city. Here you can see a place that we call Manufactura. Uh, this is a former textile factory. Now it is a shopping center, one of the biggest one in Poland. It is a place where, with many shops and cafeterias, restaurants. It is very popular among students. Okay, here another photo from, uh, from Łódź. Uh, on this photo, you can see main University of Lodz building. Like all the rectors and administration officers works here. Uh, please have a look on, on this photo, like especially on this white thing that covers the ground. Uh, it is snow. And so probably you have uh, not experienced that in your life. Uh, and uh, once you come to Poland, you will definitely. And you can also see the, the, the trees with no leaves. That house, that how the, the, the winter season looks in Poland. So we have four seasons. Every three months, the seasons changes and we have completely different, uh, you know, time of the, 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 okay. Uh, so definitely this is an example of winter season in Poland. So it snows when temperature goes below uh, zero Celsius, Celsius degrees and then rain changes into, into snowflakes and we have snow everywhere. Okay, now let's start saying something about the university, finally. So you can see the foundation date, uh, 1945. Uh, we have more than 2,000 academic staff at the university. Uh, we have 23,000 students. And we are leading a higher education institution in Poland in terms of number of international students. We are uh, number three in Poland in terms of the number of international students. And we have over 1,000 students studying in English. Uh, so you will not feel lonely in our university. You will not be frustrated that nobody speaks English here. I cannot manage with, with my stay in Poland. Uh, don't worry about this. People speak English here, students, and also uh, officers working at the university. Uh, so here you have the list of faculties of the University of Lodz. And not every faculty offer programs in English, but definitely at the Faculty of Economics and Sociology, at the Faculty of Philology, at the Faculty of Mathematics and Computer Science, uh, at the Faculty of Management, and at the Faculty of International and Political Studies, you will find a program that is fully taught in English. Okay, and here, what is the study offer of the University of Lodz? Like this slide is divided into bachelor's degree programs and master's degree. As I mentioned before, like bachelor's degree, they are three years long. Master's degree programs, they are two years long. And here you can see, for example, business management program. And definitely, if you are interested to run your own company, uh, you should consider this study program. Uh, definitely during your studies, uh, students work in teams and uh, they can uh, get with uh, skills such as the ability to communicate and work in a team which is highly valued on the market. Uh, so programs like business management and economics, they have been accredited by the International Accreditation Council uh, for business education. Uh, if you are interested in computer science, 
why not? Why not University of Lodz? But remember, you have to be very good at maths. Uh, during this program, you have a lot of algebra and other stuff uh, related to mathematics. So your mathematics skills, they have has to be on a very good level. And if you do not like maths, uh, then you can choose international marketing or international and political studies. Definitely during this program, uh, you gain the skills of communication and professional, you know, action in business and in politics and perhaps diplomacy and in international media. And more about our study programs, you can read on the webpage. I will not give you any more details, but remember that admission is open once a year. Uh, we will open our next admission in May 2024. Uh, admission deadline is 15th of July. And academic year in Poland uh, starts on the 1st of October. So if you are planning to come, you should be in Poland on the 1st of October. Okay, and here uh, another project that we have at the University of Lodz, which we call University uh, Diversity. Uh, as you can see on the photo, uh, here are our students. And we asked the, our students who came in 2017 uh, to take part in the photo session. Uh, because of uh, like the aim of this photo session is to show show to everybody that if you look at this photo, every person, every student looks different, but everybody is a human being and has to be respected equally. No matter of your skin color, religion, you are a student of the University of Lodz who has the same rights and obligation as Polish students. Okay, so I'm finishing my part of the presentation. Now Mieczysław will continue. Thank you. Hello again. Um, I will tell you some more practical information about the university, how to get in, what can we offer. Uh, however, I have very limited time, as I can see. Uh, so I will be short. Okay, may I ask for the next slide, please? Okay. Um, the University of Łódź offers wide choice of mobility possibilities for students and majority of mobility possibilities are offered within uh, the program called Erasmus Plus, uh, which is cross-European program funded by European Union. And by taking the advantage of going abroad within mobility, all students are studying at the partner university for free, uh, as well as they are getting a monthly allowance from 400 up to 600 euro depends on the country uh, plus some travel support um, there are also some mobility possibilities outside euro what is mobility itself it's uh, a semester or a year uh, which students can um, study at our partner university and the program of that mobility is included into the program of the university of Łódź. And as a part of academic mobility programs, our higher educational institution is carrying out exchanges for students for the whole process and the period of stay in a host university. Um, what is important, all students of the University of Łódź can take a part, can apply for such mobility, uh, and it, uh, the citizenship is not a point here. Yeah, the main point is the student status of the University of Łódź is the only condition. And as the International Relations Office at the University, our employees responsible for student exchange, we are granting full support and help needed in the process of application. Uh, one more important thing regarding mobility is that the tuition fee during mobility period is reduced by 50%. So the amount um, for uh, tuition fee can be easily transferred for the uh, spendings on the mobility period. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. Um, next slide is about the European Alliance of... Um, 
European Universities of Post-Industrial Cities, which is one of 50 university alliances across Europe. Um, membership in this alliance will impact also our students, even prospective ones. Uh, we are sharing experience across partners, how to improve our services in terms of admission or well-being activities during studies for our international students. And what can we offer uh, through the Unique Alliance is short-term mobility possibilities of, or taking part in online classes provided by academic staff of our partner universities. Uh, in addition, there are some language classes in national languages, so our students can learn Spanish, German, German or even Croatian, because our partners in this alliance are uh, from different European countries. Um, okay, yeah, you can see the map uh, with the universities which are partners of that alliance. As you can see, different universities from Spain to Finland, from Ireland to Turkey, uh, among them, for example, Koch University in Istanbul, which is best private university in Turkey. There is Erasmus University in Rotterdam, which is most uh, internationalized university at the world because uh, more than 30% of students there are international ones. Okay, uh, that's about unique. Uh, just to sum up uh, what was uh, said before, um, why the University of Łódź? Um, based on student surveys, as well as some focus groups, uh, we made with students. Um, in students' opinion, as the university, we create really a student-friendly atmosphere, which is diverse, very diverse, as my colleague Justina sa says in, in a moment before. Um, I will just remind you that we are really great located just in the middle of Poland and easily accessible. Uh, we have also great offer of studies for competitive tuition fee. Uh, regarding the finances, I'll tell you a few words in a moment. Um, and there is also a wide range of mobility possibilities and career support services from our side. Uh, regarding the career, I'll also give you a few examples in a moment. Um, as an example um, of yeah, uh, what uh, we do for our international students, we have a testimonial of our graduate who came from India, uh, and this is Inderjit Singh. Uh, he was searching through different universities in our region from Lithuania, Latvia, or Czech Republic, our neighboring countries, also Poland, and he chose our university because we were very, we were very responsive during admission process and describing all necessary uh, actions uh, step by step. After arrival, our freshmen feel comfortable on our campus as well as at the city. Yeah, um, may I ask you to uh, launch the uh, uh, video from Inderjit? He send it to us because he's not able to join us today, but he sent some uh, video to us. Hey everyone, my name is Inderjit Singh. I'm a former student of University of Wuj. Uh, I first came to Poland in 2017 uh, when I, I restarted my university and uh, I started my bachelor's in business management. It's been six plus years me being in Poland. Um, I decided to come to Poland because of uh, the education cost, living cost, easy edu uh, admission process, you know, and um, when I first came to Poland, there were certain um, uh, challenges which I, I had to face. Some of them was the, the emotional emotions management, right, and the understanding of the different culture. But University of Wuj provides a student with different workshops to get settled in Poland. Um, from applying to TRC till a Christmas dinner, everything is, you know, in front of us as a student, which makes us uh, comfortable in, 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 in the new culture, new environment. Right now I'm working in, uh, in Warsaw, but I'm still living in Wuj. Um, I'm a business analyst in a Boston Scientific. It's a US company. Um, I like my job. 
I, I'm, I'm actually using all the skills that I acquired from the university and um, and I'm growing in a in the same way and um, and yeah that's it thank you okay we have another testimonial from our student who is Aaron he is also our graduate and he will tell you a few words my name is Aaron a proud graduate at the University of Łódź I've been in Poland for the past five years. I came here to study international marketing in 2018 because a friend who was already in Poland spoke highly of this country. I chose Łódź and specifically the University of Łódź because of Liliana Lato, who is the head of the International Relations Office. My biggest challenges at the beginning were adapting to the new education system and working while studying. I had failed my first semester at the university because of the new education system and other reasons. But I was so interested in the university and my course that I decided I would start from the beginning and I did, correcting my mistakes and here I am, proving that failure is a part of success. If I were to change something, I wouldn't change anything because everything taught me something useful in life. What I love about studying at the University of Łódź is that their quality of education, great resources, amazing faculties, and fantastic support from the International Students' Office, especially Justina and Liliana, thanks to them. The reason why I chose Uni Łódź is that they have a diverse multicultural community and have a world ranking. Also, I received a small insight in the university from Liliana through a seminar, which made me drop all my previous plans, which was to study at some private university in Warsaw. Now, I work at JP Morgan, a well-known US bank. I love my job because of how they treat their employees, the extra benefits, stress-free work, career growth, etc. But most of all, I love Poland. It feels like home here. I have nothing to complain about but everything to appreciate. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's talk right now about the documents um, and admission to the university. There are some requirements that every student, uh, every future student show met. And uh, we are taking into consideration two basic criteria. First one is English proficiency, and we do require B2 level, possibly confirmed by two ways, an international certificate like IELTS, TEFL, or IFSI, uh, and other uh, kind of confirmation is medium of instruction if previous educational level was uh, finished 100% in English language. Um, second criteria we consider is candidates level in you know the means of grades. Uh, the system is very simple. If you are good enough, uh, you are getting the offer letter. Uh, other requirements are uh, also very simple. This online registration after uh, getting an offer letter, obtaining a post on high school living certificate or diploma, uh, as well as obtaining the migration certificate, confirming eligibility to apply for studies in India. Uh, what I wish to underline here is there is no entrance exams except one program, which is business management one. Uh, may I ask uh, you for the uh, presentation again, because there are some few more slides and I, I cannot see it on, on, the, on my computer. Okay, yeah. So basically requirements are very simple. Language proficiency uh, and good grades to get in the, into the university. Um, Another important thing I wish to tell you is the cost of studies, cost of living in Łódź. Uh, so you can see it on the screen. The tuition fee in average is 2,500 euro per one academic year, which is, in my opinion, very competitive uh, in comparison to another uh, Polish universities and European countries as well. Uh, important thing, we are offered good standard dormitories for students and all students are granted a place so we can assure you about it um, regarding the cost of living uh, average cost is 400 euro per month of course it's average means uh, some for somebody it will be 350 euro for somebody it will be 600 depends on your needs yeah but in this cost of living we include dormitory 
uh, which costs for 100 up to 140 euro per month, depends on the dormitory. Uh, the internet is available in every room at every uh, faculty. Uh, students if live in twin bedded rooms and have a direct access to the kitchen and uh, shower. Uh, let's see two pictures. This is a room at the dormitory, so basic needs, a bed, the wardrobe, some table. You can get a, a bed closes every week. Um, there is a fridge, there is a kitchen. So that's how it looks like. Um, our dormitories are, are located in very green area of the city uh, at the campus. Campus is located 10 minutes by tram to the city center. So um, with the transportation, um, public transportation, it's not a problem here in which to get to the city center, center from our campus. Okay. What else we can do for our international students? Uh, from this year, uh, we started two new initiatives, which is Welcome Point and uh, Mentors for our uh, freshmen. Um, mentors, um, okay, uh, we have selected a group of students who are helping their younger, co younger colleagues uh, on site in the library at the Welcome Point, as well as individually through social media as mentors and in our opinion such kind of guidance uh, at the very beginning is really important to get to know the university and the city uh, as well okay last topic of our today's meeting is career opportunities um, at the picture you can see our graduate from 2020 and uh, she has finished business management degree and she just hey managed her major because she really liked accountancy and it was really helpful for her during studies uh, that studies are not only about the academic dimension of studying but also about the personal and professional growth offered by the faculty and this allows students to think outside the box. Uh, now this girl uh, she works as financial analyst at the ABB Corporation here at the law's office of this uh, company. Um, she was offered that job during her studies after the internship at this uh, company. Uh, I need to stress out one more thing. That there is really important that uh, if we are talking about job opportunities, the companies like to hire students here in Poland because they pay less taxes for such employee. And we strongly do not recommend to look for a job during the first semester, which is the crucial semester to get into the studying process. And uh, we recommend to really focus on studies at this time. After, you know, uh, getting some basic Polish words, uh, students um, are looking for a job, but after the first semester, um, if you are coming to Poland as a student, you are granted visa type D, which is a student visa. And that means that main purpose to stay in Poland is studying, not working. And uh, when applying for visa, you have to prove to the embassy that uh, you have enough amount of money to live and stay in Poland. Failing a first semester code in counseling of student status and visa as well. Yeah, that this is important to mm -hmm. start studying, not working after the first or second semester uh, it is a good idea to start look for some part-time job okay let's back to the possibilities another uh, chance to develop is a mentorship project for our outstanding students and this initiative links into pairs our alumni who are top managers or ceo also representatives of culture different businesses with our students who are about to start their career yeah and the mentor set plans and goals for such students from one side the student is getting strong feedback uh, on their actions their results and um, there is also a possibility of regular meetings with uh, mentors for consultations uh, one more possibility is using services provided by our career office where you can find career advisors. They uh, can teach you how to create your job application, the letter of interest, how to uh, look for the job effectively or how to behave during your job interview if you're getting ill. In um, Also, there are some job fairs, uh, trainings, workshops, uh, trainships for students 
um, they can offer it because we have strong links with business businesses located here in which they are international and uh, our Polish domestic companies uh, um, in field of technology, banking, um, uh, accountancy, also uh, different different other uh, area of businesses. So you can see some example uh, com of companies here at the slide, uh, the names of the companies. And basically, yes, I'm out of time, uh, so I'm passing the voice to uh, Sujin. Sorry for that, it takes so long, but we really have a lot of things to uh, explain and let you understand. Thank you very much. Thank you, Justina. Thank you, Pankos. Uh, it was, I know that the time is not enough to explain a lot of things about the university, that this is not sufficient, that we can give more ideas, more details to the students later. Why? Because we have a limitation of the time. So before I start the Q&A session, the question and answer session, I would like to really appreciate the schools, especially because they have a limitation of the time that they have to end the school time for the day. So first of all, I would like to thank and appreciate the principal and the uh, faculty and the students of Mount Carmel Higher Secondary School, Kotem, Leo 13th Higher Secondary School, Alapura, Tirumala Higher Secondary School, Alapura, St. Raphael Higher Secondary School, Alapura, Mad Dainish's MD Higher Secondary School, Kotayam, where I am actually an alumni of the school, proud alumni of the school, Carmel Higher Secondary School, Alapura, Vishadipti CMI Higher Secondary School, it's a public school, Adimali, St. Mary's Ma uh, Higher Secondary School, Meripulam, Don Bosco Higher Secondary School, Katapana, Al Azhar, Higher Secondary School, Todobura. And uh, I, the list is not complete. There are a lot of other schools already participated in this event. Now this is the time for the students from the school to ask questions. The students can ask any of the questions to Justina or Pacos, and you can get to know and clarify your doubts. I'm just using my local language. Excuse me, Justina and Pacos. Uh, questions academics and uh, about university facilities ranking or curriculum in the basic to ningal kepam ningal kettadu mai bandapetta ini ningal already brochure vaichathu mai bandapetta endu doubts undengilum chodikkanalla avasaram aanu ningal kadu malayalathil chodikkan english il chodikkan we are here to help you any of you ammala schools le medikan maraiyathulla kutikal kaarku vanengilum Medical mark, medical coding, so we can. Nala coding also we can wear an air to another than special gift to the other. Uh, in the doubts on the green, either letting of a chodi can and do muddy the old and the gill chat box delivery on the other question. Sida, just another is a question about uh, uh, Erasmus, the concept of Erasmus. Please, hey, may please. I can answer this question? Please. The please. concept of Erasmus is uh, about visiting another country, our partner universities, for one semester or one year to get, you know, kind of strong multicultural, multicultural uh, skills. Uh, why? Because um, you will get more points when you are, you are uh, search for a job. Here in what there are a few companies that are looking for only uh, applicants who were um, exchange students at another university because they know that the uh, graduate of the university who uh, take an advantage to spend a semester or a year in another country uh, is like um, have more advantages because of the skills um, uh, of multicultural communication and like personal individual background after such exchange. Yeah, that's my answer for that question. There are two more questions. Uh, one is uh, one is that they would like to know, one of the students would like to know if there is a master's program in human resource management in the University of Puj. <clears throat> okay, as, as you could uh, see on the, on the presentation, on master's degree, we offer business uh, management and business digital in business and management. Oh, in analytics, uh, something like this. Um, we do not offer like a master's in human resources as a strict study program, 
but definitely some part of uh, HR is included in like management programs that we have in our offer. Definitely stay in touch with us and we can present you the, the offer that we have, uh, you know, more precise. Okay. Another question is about the career opportunity in the city of Wuj. Okay, I will answer that. Um, uh, I was running the, through the presentation because of lack of time. Um, but all the companies uh, you were able to see on the slide are uh, located here in Łódź. Uh, that's offices like regional ones from international corporations here in the city or um, our local companies. Um, basically, our uh, city is um, developing such business areas as IT. Um, as business process outsourcing, as home appliances manufacture, um, and research and development. Yeah, that's our basic fields. However, there are some few uh, more. There is um, a lot of possibilities to search for a job here, um, but also at another Polish cities. Yeah, Warsaw is 100, 100 kilometer, kilometers from here, from which there are also other cities in Poland that offer great opportunities for um, job seekers. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. One, one more question that uh, um, is there any placement assistance after completing the course? Assistant okay, that's University. kind of uh, support uh, for uh, searching a job, as I can understand, right? Um, as I said, uh, we have the career offers. They uh, do not will. Uh, they do not offer a job for you, but they are. They are doing the great job for make a student prepared for searching. Yep, and uh, for uh, application to another uh, to to add to different companies. Uh, as I said, that there are uh, some trainings about how to create your resume, uh, your job application, uh, the letter of motivation, uh, how to behave yourself during the job interview. Um, believe me, that eighty-seven percent of our uh, students um, started their work at the last year of studies, uh, so it's not a problem to find the work in Poland here. Yeah. Uh, you are muted. Yeah. Uh, the next question is about your studies and English studies in the uh, Masters for International Business Management. Uh, to be honest, I do not really understand this question because we have uh, the question is The question is very simple that we have uh, Masters in International Business Management and it is if it is delivered in English language. Yes, of course. The programs that were on, on the slide, they are all fully taught in English. So we didn't mention anything in education in Polish language. Okay, if there's anybody who would like to try, why not? We can um, advise and we can uh, show how to learn Polish and then how to start studying in Polish. Everything was about education in English. Okay. And there are uh, other questions from the school that is Poland a good place for nursing students that, of course, we don't have a nursing program. But I think I can easily uh, answer to the question. Yes, nursing is, uh, uh, is it has a possibility in, in Poland. First, I am Poland and the country and nurses in a pangar might have vacancy on them. To the entire European Union, the, the, uh, the nursing program is highly demanded. So, uh, there are medical universities also in Poland. Um, they are asking about one of the students is asking, students is asking about the stay back and the placement opportunity. So I think we have already talked about the placement uh, and it, we have to just talk about the stay back. So Yustina, could you please uh, uh, talk about the stay back possibilities in Poland? Could you, could you please just repeat the question? Uh, the question is that if the Poland, the country, as a country, uh, if it, it provides the students uh, with the stay back after their education. But, but what do you mean by the step back? Stay back, the, the, the stay back visa, the post study visa. Ah, post study, okay. 
Uh, yes, there is such possibility uh, after the graduation and getting a diploma. Uh, there is uh, one year um, of stay uh, in Poland, uh, which is supposed to be used for uh, job searching. Yep. Uh, and during this time, you are granted a special residence permit for uh, just searching a job. After um, this period, when you are looking for a job, we uh, uh, as a country offer uh, the residence permit uh, based on the work. Yep. So it is offered by the employer. Yep. Firstly, you are coming to Poland as a student based on the invitation from the university. The, there is one more year for looking for a job and then you can apply for the residence permit from your employer. Yep. Um, there are many questions coming up. Um, the other question is all about that. Uh, the student is having the English as the first language, but he or she uh, did not attend the IELTS ever. Hey. Is IELTS a mandatory certification to Poland? So you have a smart one. Okay, I will answer. <clears throat> it's not, okay? If the student gives us a document, then 100% of his or her studies were conducted in English. Uh, IELTS is not mandatory, okay? Then a document from university confirming that the education was fully taught in English is enough for applying to the University of Lodz. And another question is that how many years of career gaps are acceptable for bachelor's program? Mm -hmm. uh, we do not have such uh, thing as educational gap. A few years ago, I remember we had some Spanish student uh, who were uh, 70 years old. Yeah, you know, so there is no gap possibility requiring the second part of this question. I can see it on the chat. The minimum percentage required for bachelor's is 55%. Is 55%. Yeah. One more question that it is all about that if we have a program related to the hotel management in master's. Uh, well, no, sorry, hotel management, no. <clears throat> like general business management and maybe some parts, some specialization can be related to hotel management, but unfortunately we don't have such program. And uh, for, for answering for another question, we do not accept Duolingo certificate. Okay. It has to be an international certificate like IELTS, TOEFL, TOEFL uh, Duolingo, no. Okay. And we are not medical university. Maybe they will uh, another presentation with medical university because we know that Sujin, he has a great cooperation with uh, medical schools in Poland. So please join uh, this presentation and ask your questions to a medical university. Of course, we do have a good alliance with the medical university in the city of Bydgoszcz, Poland. And of course, we have medical university in the city of Łódź also. So we have family program, we have the uh, six years MD program, we have the five years um, dentistry program. Any more questions? I can see on the also at the list of participants three hands of uh, rise, raised up, so maybe the persons wish to ask some question. For the students, the hand raised in the opinion, uh, unmute on the position, go to the number. But the connection from the Amal Mujib was very poor. We cannot hear anything. Yep. Uh, there is another question on the chat. If I have completed my bachelor's in English medium, so can I do master without any English proficiency test? Yes. The answer is simple. Yes, you can do that. Sujin, we can't hear you, okay? Yeah. I think we have answered to almost all of the questions that we got a good uh, amount of questions from uh, different students from different schools and uh, there are graduates also participating in the webinar so they can also join in this university for the master level of education. Now um, I just have to mention the name of um, Ms. Liliana Lato at a glance that she is actually in India now so that she couldn't participate in the webinar. She and Justina also uh, are great fans of our Indian culture that they used to visit India occasionally and they enjoy our country.
and I was just uh, listening to Mr. Aaron. I still remember the 2018 when uh, he came to Poland. So see, he came and met me in a hotel along with Liliana. Uh, we had a webinar in in Tiruvalla. It's named Tiruvalla. The city is named Tiruvalla. He came there and he was so nervous. He did not have uh, a high score in his higher secondary examination, and he was so nervous. Uh, in speaking English, especially when he was speaking to uh, Liliana, um, but I see how he has grown through the education in the University of Wood. That he is now a very mature professional, and he is one among the good employee in the JP Morgan. So it's a proof that that the students do not have to go to USA to become an employee of JP Morgan Bank. They can come to come and study in the University of Lords and. get settled the first thing is that the students become professional they have a transformation once they study in the university and then they get settled in well reputed world renowned companies uh, two more questions that we have to answer and we will wind up then that uh, can someone apply for bachelor's in business management after completing commerce uh, in the 12th grade i don't know if you understand that when we say commerce that they mean that in the commerce there is no mathematics oh so no <laughs> no 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 for business management you have to have a grade from mathematics mathematics and english yeah these are the most two the most popular um like courses that you have to have in your 12th grade okay so sorry but commerce not with commerce you can uh, try international marketing or international and political studies so what will be the provision a uh, provision for the students from uh, commerce international marketing and political studies the students what, without mathematics what do you mean provision that which will be the suggested program is it international marketing and politics if the student is without mathematics uh, so uh, yeah these two those two like those two because for economics yeah, you also have to have mathematics i'm thinking whether there's an other program no only these two okay and what should be the minimal score in the higher secondary examination to apply for uh, bachelor's in management okay so uh, to be honest we do not have such calculations okay it it depends year by year because all the students who are applying they are competing with each other okay so every year it can be different we do not have like a minimum gpa uh to to apply okay definitely give yourself a chance and apply if not business management then try considering and think about plan b maybe another program which will be you which you are interested in we have a curious question about uh, uh, the digital communication and social media the program can i give give some words about well, uh, no program? no no sorry but you know uh, we are mainly responsible for the admission for all the regulations for the procedures okay about the programs we would love to uh you know uh, give this question to the faculty and then for sure somebody from the faculty will be able even to have some i don't know zoom meeting maybe with the candidate and explain uh, what is this program about okay so unfortunately we have no idea about the programs there is some information on the web page where you can uh, read some basic information about the programs but we usually you know send such questions to faculties and they will answer with no problem do we have the uh, bachelor's and master degree program in digital communication and social media it's for bachelors we have it on bachelor's degree Well it's a new program they started this year so might not be very popular but definitely students uh, might be interested in this this topic this area I think we have already answered almost all questions and the session was very fruitful i believe for all the students they got a clear got a lot of information about what is uh, europe central europe what is erasmus what is european union what is poland and university of lots and we are here to help all of the students whatever uh, queries they have 
in the coming days, they can contact us, all of them, the, uh, all of the schools and the students, the participants have our contact number and all of them are welcome to contact us. In the coming days, we can give you all of the details, both in both of our telephonic conversation as well as in WhatsApp or in the email. Yes, we are here to help you. Once again, I thank you, uh, first of all, the Vice Director of the University, secondly, Justina and Pacos, and uh, not at the end, but Liliana Lato, I miss her in this webinar. Uh, she's enjoying India, actually. Okay, thank you, the entire University of Woods team for this participation. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for Sujin. It was a pleasure. And it was a great energy to see some students and some <laughs> some pupils <laughs> on the camera. We really love our job and we are here to help everybody who are who is yeah. interested in, you know, studying in Woods. Thank you. Thanks thank once you. again to the students and participants as well. I also saw the enthusiasm of many of the students who joined from the schools. Uh, see you all soon once again for the admission procedure of, to the University of Woods. Thank you. Thank you all.